Hi, I'm Debbie Moore and welcome to my inspiration video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous scene card. Now, this is a dimensional card. As you can see from the sides, it's all laid up with these hinges. So from your CD-ROM, you need to print off your template and then choose your scene card that you want to do. Cut all those elements out and then get started. Then join me and we'll do it step by step. So to start off with, I have my base here and you need your two large hinges. So we're going to start with that. Now the hinges literally are equal amounts and you've got four parts and the idea behind it is you're going to pop them on to your card on either side and you're going to use glue. Now when it comes to adhesive what I would recommend you do is use a strong double-sided tape or glue to fix it in place. So I'm going to put that on one side line it up like so and it literally just jumps up at you. So you're going to do that for both sides and then the next step for you to do would be to get your frame. Now you'll find from the template that you have everything there. Take your frame and the frame is going to sit on top like so. So when it goes totally flat, it'll fit lovely in the envelope. And don't forget, we have the envelopes on a CD-ROM, so you can print them off. So we're going to just fix that on top of there, like so, and line it up. The next part would be to get your side frames, or almost like your ribbon strips for your frame. Put your glue, so you can see how it's slowly coming together put them on. Now as I said you can use any adhesive. I'm using my 3-in-1 glue because it dries very quickly. Fix that on like so. Make sure it's straight. The next part I would actually get your grass or yet again you have another hinge. So every time you put another section on you need to put a hinge. And I've just realized on this part here I needed to put an extra hinge. So I'm literally, so even I can get the steps wrong. So it's very easy to just to go back in, get a smaller hinge to fit that on the base there. So I'm just going to squeeze that into there, like that. And we'll do it with the other one. And this is the beauty with it. Onto that, push down, and then the next bit is on top like so. So as you can see we're building up the layers and this is what scene cards are. You're taking one section and slowly building it up to give a three-dimensional effect. Now don't forget you've got different colour options in the collection and you can add as many or if you want to take them or section out you could. So there's that. Then the next bit would be the next part the next layer, you repeat in the same process, get your hinges, put them on. So this is my next one, that's going to go there. Then I'm going to get this one here and fit that on there. So you slowly build it up, get my next grass. Now if you didn't want it to be so dimensional, as I said, look at that. It looks it's coming together beautifully. And then the last one is obviously the top. So you need, you can leave that flat or you can put a hinge on there. So I'm going to get one last hinge, put it on there, fix it on. And this is why you need a strong glue. And can you see how quickly it's coming together by using my three-in-one glue? Fix that on that. Slide that into place. And then we put the top on. Now when, even when you do your three-in-one glue, I still recommend that you put it to side to at least, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. Now you could decoupage this, and why don't we decoupage the top? Because I always give you extra and I always give you sentiment, so I'm just using some silicon glue. Slide that, saying happy birthday that. Now now that I'm using silicon glue, you need to make sure that you put it to dry for about an hour to an hour and a half. Put that on there. So your choice, you can leave it plain or you can have a lovely sentiment. And last to finish off, we need a, a butterfly. There we go. Put it in the corner. And how quickly is that done? So have a go. 
Don't forget, enjoy it. It's really lots of fun and happy crafting.